The death toll continues to rise in a part of the Indian Himalayas after floods from a glacial lake burst its banks. Heavy rains in the state of Sakim and an apparent avalanche caused Lonag Lake to spill over, triggering flash floods along the Tisa River downstream. In low-lying towns such as Rampo and Singtam, most houses were inundated with slush as high as 10 feet. Salunisha was one of the residents whose house was completely damaged. We heard that floodwaters had inundated the entire town of Singtam. As soon as we heard that, we started running. Nobody came to wake us up. Gas cylinder, belongings, everything was left behind. What will people like us eat and how will we survive? This woman said her family heard a nearby dam was about to burst in the middle of the night. They only grabbed important documents and fled the house. One local official told Reuters more than 100 people were still missing as of Sunday. Rescue workers were still sifting through rubble and layers of mud. There has been massive devastation as you can see for yourself. On both sides of the river, houses have been damaged. It is particularly bad here as the river came in full flow and more than 50 houses were completely damaged here. The mud and the stone chips that entered here were more than 10 feet high. Dead bodies are still being recovered here, but we have not been able to enter any houses so far. So we don't really know how many dead will be found inside the houses. Part of Sakim state has also experienced fuel shortages with supplies unable to reach the disaster-hit region with roads and bridges destroyed.